I like to talk about competition. In the animal, in the animal world, the stronger animals with the toughness will always attack weaker animals for their prey. However, you already know these strong animals, such as lions, tigers, and the cheetahs, hunt easy prey that are slow, weak, or injured. In 1859, Charles Darwin conveyed the theory of the survival of the fittest. Since then, people believed the bigger and the stronger species would dominate weaker species. But in the 1960s, a Scottish biologist, Wynne Edwards, corrected this misunderstanding, which means mutual competition is necessary for survival. But that competition is not between different species, but within the same species. For example, when a cheetah chases an antelope, that is not the competition between cheetah and antelope. An antelope must run faster than the other antelopes to survive. They must compete among themselves. Two men during their hiking in a remote forest happened to come face to face with a grizzly bear. Grizzly bear. Man A said to man B, let's run. But man B said, there's no use of running away. The bear will run, will outrun us. The man A said to man B, I don't care as long as I run faster than you. <laughs> this story illustrates that the slow, weak, and clumsy will become victims in the street in real life. No matter what happens, each individual has responsibility over their fortune or misfortune. We are not supposed to say our failure is because of you or the situation. We are not supposed to say our failure is because of you or the situation, mainly because you show lack of confidence. Naturally, you are slow, clumsy, and weak. The street people will choose such people. This is one reason you practice Apkido, to attain confidence, so you will not easily become victims. I want you to remember the competition is not between different species, which means not between lion, cheetah, or tiger with other animals. In other words, even in our lives, a bakery owner will not compete with a clothing store owner. An auto shop will not compete with a martial arts school. Often parents bring their children and ask me to teach them hapkido. They explain how many bad boys and girls bully pick on and pick on their child. My theory is a little different. In that case, though I agree there are some bad children, their children might be weak and clumsy due to lack of confidence. Naturally, other children will pick on them. Am I understood? Yes. So don't blame others. A psychology professor at Cambridge University, Nicholas Humphrey, has pointed out, we humans generally show interest in how much smarter, more talented, and skillful we are than others, instead of showing interest in how smart I am, how skillful I am. In other words, uh, they are always competitive. They compare. As long as I am better than you, I am doing fine. But we have to understand, we have to keep on going. 
instead of comparing with other people. Just go toward your goal. We are showing instead of excelling for our own self potential. We do it to show off to others, which means competition among the same species. This is the matter that Wynne Edwards tried to convey. Let's keep running and getting stronger. Thank you.